Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Support channel. In my previous video, we executed a very beautiful use case in which we created a web application in Visual Builder where we perform the whole CRUD operation like create, update, delete and update. So in this video, we are going to showcase the parent child relationship in Visual Builder. So in this video, we are going to execute uh, another use case, which will show how the parent and child relationship work in VPCS. So in this video, we are going to extend the previous employee application, which we created in my previous video. So if you wanted to execute this use case, please see my earlier video. Now in this we are going to create another object as an address under that web application and that address can have different different column like employee id which will refer to my primary id of the employees the address type house number address one address two pin code state and country and we will drop the table component on the employee list page and will associate with address business object then we will add a filter criteria onto the table so that only the address associated with the selected employees can be displayed. So this is the use case which we are going to achieve in this particular video. So let's go ahead and see how we can achieve this. So I just opened my earlier application, employee application, and here I'm just jumping into the business object and I'm going to create another business object which will be your address business object. Now click on a create button. Now go to the fields tab and just click on the new field. I'm just going to create a employee ID and employee ID will refer to my employee object and it will be uh, displayed as an ID field, which means that employee ID is the foreign key in this particular address object and will refer to the id the primary key of the employee just click on a create field same ways i'm just going to create another fields now you see i have created another fields like address type house number address one address two pin code state and country so these are the fields which i have created now jump into my web application and open this main start page now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put one heading here and I will just rename it to change the text like address. Now I'm just going to search a table component and drop it over here. Now I'll just select this table and click on this add data from this quick start. Just click on that add data and we'll select my address object. Click on the next. Now I will select the fields which I want to show on my page. Like I will select house number, address one, address two, address type, uh, the pin code, state, and then country. I'll select on the next button. Now here I will add a free filter criteria so that this table initially will not be populated. So I'll just click on this filter criteria and just click on the add condition. And then from here, you can say employee ID equals to minus one. So minus one will not be there. So the initial table will not be populated and just click on the finish button. Now you see the table is there. Now just try to run this application. Here you see there's a one record and there's no address. So let's just try to insert some records first into the employee. I'll add one more record. Click on add row and here I'll say Rishi Bhardwaj. I'll say 27 and say at gmail.com just click add row i will another add rows into this address object click on the add row and here i will say the employee id one address type 
will be my office address house number y3 oblique one two three and two address one you can see noida sector 57 and here you can see 201301 instead you can say up and here you can say india add row i will add another row here you see i added two rows which is associated with employee id one and a single address which is associated with employee two now just go back to your web application again main start page and just try to run Here you will see two records of employee will be provided. If you select this, there is no address will come up. So in order to populate that address, we have to make certain condition. Just go to your application and select your employees table, which is your parent table. Now just go to the events. The event is already there. If event is not there, you can go click on the new event and then click on the quick start selection. So now event is already there. Now i'll just go that event and just click on this now here what i will do i'll just drag this assign variables just stop it on this line and then click on this assign variable and click on the assign and here you just need to add the filter condition on that address list sdp so it is nothing it is the address list service data provider just expand this so this sdp will come automatically as soon as you drop a table over the page and associate with any business object so these service data provider will be created automatically now click on that filter criteria and click to add condition here i will say my employee id equals to gen dot variables dot employee id once this will pick this one and then click on a save button so this is the only thing which we need to configure now go to this web designer page and now and try to run this page now just select any one of the row you see i selected ankur and two address has been populated because ankur has two addresses now just click rishi and the table will refresh automatically and will show single address over here now you see this single address associated with rishi now you can again see now you can just see all the address associated with that particular employee so this is how you can create parent child relationship into the bpcs guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe my channel you can see me over linkedin twitter facebook and pinterest you can see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxapper.com thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye